Je t'exalterai, mon Dieu, mon Roi. Je bénirai ton nom toujours et à jamais. Chaque jour, je te bénirai. Je louerai ton nom toujours et à jamais. Il est grand, le Seigneur, hautement loué. À sa grandeur, il n'a pas de limite. À son âge, on prendra des sœurs, on proclamera des exploits. Je rendirai le récit de tes merveilles, ton éclat, ta gloire et ta splendeur. On dira ta force véritable, je raconterai ta grandeur. On rappellera tes immenses bontés, tous acclameront ta justice. Le Seigneur est en train de se réfugier, l'âme la colère et l'âme de l'amour. La bonté du Seigneur est pour, tout, est pour tous. Sa tendresse pour toutes ses œuvres. Que tes œuvres, Seigneur, te rendent grâce et que tes fidèles te bénissent. Ils diront la gloire de ton règne. Ils parleront de tes exploits. En annonçant aux hommes tes exploits, la gloire et l'éclat de ton règne. Gloire au Père, au Fils et au Saint-Esprit. Maintenant et à jamais, pour les siècles et les siècles. Amen. Channel Congregation 34. In their own communal apostolic discernment, which led to the founding of the society, Ignatius and his companions saw this as their unique call, their charism, to choose to be with Christ as servants of his mission, to be with people where they dwell and work and struggle. <coughs> to bring the gospel into their lives and labors. As pilgrims on Christ's mission, we are ready to be dispersed to any part of Christ's vineyard, to labor in those parts of it and in those works which have been entrusted <coughs> to us. In Jesus Christ, we can accept the magnitude of this challenge to work at the integration of faith and justice, to strive to understand how the gospel is to be enculturated, to embark with new zeal on the task of interreligious dialogue, to continue to join our professional and pastoral <coughs> skills to the Ignatian way of proceeding. The crucified Christ Jesus reminds us that in weakness and vulnerability, God's love can shine forth mightily. The risen Jesus reminds us that our hope rests in his power over death and his continued identification with those who bear his name. Jésus leur dit, « Allez, de toutes les nations faites des disciples, baptisez-les au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Apprenez-leur à observer tout ce que je vous ai commandé. Et moi, je suis avec vous tous les jours jusqu'à la fin du monde. »
Pray for our society, the company of friends in the Lord, founded by St. Ignatius to serve the Church under the standard of the cross. For the universal body of the society, that assembled from all the nations and sent to the whole world it remain united in love and obedience and give a convincing testimony of Christ's presence among men. For the priests of the society, that animated by the spirit, zealous, competent, and committed, they proclaim the word of God and give the bread of life to the people entrusted to them with much spiritual fruit and personal consolation. For the brothers, that they be and feel truly integrated in the life and activities of the society sharing thus in the same, the same vocation and apostolic mission. For those who are in formation, that they be well trained in everything, in the school of the heart, as well as in academic matters, in character, as well as in our way of proceeding, that they become zealous workers, working to the heart of Christ, according to the heart of Christ. For the provinces, regions, and local communities, that the Lord bless them in their apostolic activities and help them in their difficulties that they remain united in love and give a genuine testimony of companionship in mission. For our superior general and all superiors, that the Holy Spirit assist them and give them light and strength in their governance of the society helping us to be ever faithful to the charism received from St. Ignatius and his companions. Let us also offer to keep us 
For all our friends, benefactors, and especially for those who are praying with and for us during these weeks of General Contemplation 36, we thank them for their support from all over the world, which strengthens us in our work in the Aula. May they continue to support our mission. Bless us, O Lord, and keep us united in compassion of your service. Senhor nosso Deus, humildemente te pedimos que continues a abençoar-nos a todos nós aqui presentes e a toda a companhia e a todos os que colaboram na mesma missão de Cristo, para que possamos permanecer sempre fiéis à Tua vontade e trabalhar pela reconciliação, a justiça e a paz. Abençoe-nos Deus Todo-Poderoso, Pai, Filho e Espírito Santo. Amém. Amém.